6.40. This is my morning gym. I'm so glad I don't have hair. Hi everyone, welcome to a new Begijnhoeve video. <laughs> my name is Rob, his name is Vivi. My name is Adam. And my name is Jeff. Yeah. Today we're going to show you the stable routine. Uh, today is a bit different, we're working with three grooms today. Uh, I had a meeting today, Tommy... Uh, <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have hair. <laughs> uh, Tommy is training today, so uh, we're not going to write much. So maybe it's interesting to show the routine uh, of the groups. Uh, so now it's six o'clock uh, in the morning. We start now with feeding and the first thing I do is always check the, the feeding buckets and we can see yeah, if there's something wrong or they don't feel good or, or they didn't eat their food. So that's the first check I do in the morning. Down. So every morning he fills his feeding bucket with straw. Every morning the same, so. I'm just filling the buckets with hey. So it's uh, like an uh, all-you-can-eat buffet. So this is hay from uh, our own fields, Rob's fields, not, not ours. So this is very good, but it's kind of strong. So we have three horses at the back that are getting a little bit fat, <laughs> if I can say. So they need poor hay. And that's what Kert is now getting for them in a wheelbarrow, so uh, that they lose some weight. This is my morning gym. So we don't fill it to the hole, because you would think the more the better, but then it gets stuck. So we fill it three quarters, shake it loose, otherwise they can't get it. So less is, uh, less is more. Hi, Good Good morning. Good now I just do a clean, uh, a quick clean of the corridor. Because you made a mess. You made a mess? <laughs> So, and then we start mucking out. And then, because it's still a little bit too dark to put the horses out, so we muck a little bit out and then put the horses out. And they can enjoy the paddock. So now I put on the mucking out system. We still don't have the buttons in the corridor. They should uh, be installed, I think, this week. So we can put it on there. Uh, now we have to walk to the machine itself, we put it on and then we have to quickly go muck out because after 10 minutes it shuts down and we have to come back again, so we're gonna muck out. 6.40 So we started at 6 because this September the 15th, it's gonna be 32 degrees, it's uh, uh, very warm and with uh, all the bugs we try to get the horses out before the main heat. Uh, but now we chose to wait because it's a little bit dark, like Kert said, uh, because we want to see if maybe there is something in the paddock. We never know. Normally we check 
in the evening, but you don't know what happens at night. So we want to see where we put them. So now the, the favorite part of the day starts uh, the mugging out. But yeah, now with the mess system, it's so easy and um, we do it together with Alan. So we switch stable for stable, so it's going really fast. So I quit then. Yeah, you're here, Alan is already ready, so. I'm too slow. So the first thing I do is when I am um, coming in the stable for the first time, I check the horse, I take a look at the legs or they are swollen or they have wounds. Um, it's a first checkup so we know a little bit if they had a good night. A premier, yeah. Morning, it's 7 o'clock now. We started early because it's getting hot today. I've put three horses outside in the paddock, Game, Mason and Clooney, and Heros is inside the paddock. They stay in there for about 20 minutes, half an hour, until they start digging and then we get them out. Um, I'm here every other week on Tuesday um, and I'll be treating six horses today. I'm gonna put Quinton in the inside paddock now because we have one paddock less outside, they go inside today. So now I take Genesis to make him ready for Tommy because he's gonna ride him and he texted that we can make him ready. So we go. Hey Genesis, you have to work. So um, now I'm now going to ride some horses at home and then I'm going to Anki because I brought Fanatic yesterday to Anki to have several lessons with her. Uh, so I left her there because I think it's sometimes uh, better if someone corrects me every day than once a week because I make mistakes all the time and now she can like say no. no. So I think it's, uh, it's a good idea. We know next week if it was a good idea. <laughs> This is our planning board. We write down everything the horses do. They get ridden or in the treadmill or in the paddock. After riding, we always clean the bridles. Uh, we're walking with Cristal. You remember her from the uh, hoof problem towards uh, the water to let her swim. Uh, it's a kind of revalidation therapy to keep her in motion, to keep her moving. She's also one that gets the dry hay because she's not working and she's getting a little bit um, a tummy. <laughs> So that's why she uh, is going to swim. We are going up and down twice, because that's enough, because it's hard work for them and us, but we don't say it. Like it? We do it with two grooms, so, and with a lunch cord, because we have to walk on the banks uh, next to the water. But it's safer with two grooms if she wants to come out one side or the other. She knows it, so she's normally not a problem. But you have a little bit of control. It only takes good communication between the grooms, how you turn. That's why I always take Gert, because he's good with communication. Oh. Not! <laughs> so, let's do it. We go, Cristal.
Mason, we also let him swim. Uh, it was now the third time, I think, we did it with him. First two days it was a little bit difficult, but now it was easy and he was going from the first time in the water. And yeah, we try to do it with all the horses, also the young horses. It's something different, it's good for their mind. the horse show so mission accomplished <laughs> yeah, so now I'm making uh, Romeno ready for the paddock he's the last one that has to go out today I think now it's around uh, a quarter past ten so we did um, all the horses already out so before the heat and he's the last one um, we have different uh, protection for the paddock and for the walker. So now, and he is only in the front because um, on the hind he has no uh, shoes. So we do only the front. And when they have um, shoes in the back, they um, get also protection with the hind legs. Now the sun is already a little bit strong so there are many flies so we use a blanket that they can enjoy the paddock fully and they don't have the flies around them As Rob already told you, they are not riding that much today, so we have less work of preparing the horses for them. So I asked Gert and Sonja, she's already uh, tidying there to uh, clean uh, some fronts and uh, maybe some walls. And I'm going to do some administration, so. Yay. So let's clean. Yeah, we do it. <laughs> This is not my favorite part of the job. <laughs> I hate it. I clean this table. Just look.
They love me now. <laughs> We feed at uh, 8, 12 and 5 o'clock um, and what's written down, that's what they get. So we now 2B, 2 Brocks and uh, if you see an M, it's the muesli. Fabiola worked hard today, so for extra cooling we use the Creo machine, you can, yeah, Cool the, the leg very much. Yeah, we do it as an extra when they worked hard. So, Fabiola, now the inside, and then you're done. Very fun working with Alan. Your day is going by like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 no. You have to be professional. I'm yeah. a stable manager. She's uh, very strict. <laughs> How was your day? It was a quiet day. It was not so busy. We have busier days than. Today, I think, because there was less riding. But yeah, we did some cleaning and the stuff that we normally couldn't do, so that was handy that we had some time. Yeah, I totally agree. So it's uh, one o'clock now, and the day is almost at an end. We're not completely finished, we still have to do some sweeping, um, uh, give some extra hay uh, because we started uh, earlier. We're in the quad now because we uh, just checked over there if there is some manure left on the racetrack. Uh, we empty the buckets near the cleaning and washing places, near the outdoor arena, the lunging places, the paddocks. We also do that, so that's what we did now. What do we have to do next? Sweep, go to the car, wave. And say goodbye. <laughs> Something like that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We hope we, you liked the video. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, <laughs> Rob would tell you. <laughs> <laughs>